my dear citizens of Nagaland, I speak to you with the hope that you are safe and healthy in your respective homes. As you are all aware, the world continue to battle with the novel coronavirus pandemic that has spread to every continent on the planet. No country has been spared. Even the most developed and advanced nation continues to grapple with situation that is unparalleled in history. Millions have been infected and affected by it, and hundreds of thousands have died. By the grace of God, we do not have a single positive case in our state, and we hope that the pandemic will continue to stay away from us. We join the rest of the country and the world in a united effort to break the chain by going into a lockdown on the 25th of March. I must thank and compliment every citizen of the state for your sacrifices, contributions and cooperation in making the efforts of the government and the civil societies successful. No strategy of any government can be successful unless the people comes forward with support and solidarity. Nagas have stood up to the occasion as the pandemic spread alarmingly across the world. We too were not prepared for the monumental challenges that stood in front of us. But all sections joined the government, missionaries, to collectively face the hurdles. And today, I can say with confidence that we are in a better position to address the challenges. Our workers in the front line deserve all praise and appreciations for their tireless efforts. We thank our doctors, nurses, and health workers who are risking their lives to identify and treat COVID patients. Many a time without adequate gears, the police, the administration, the local bodies, the field workers in the municipalities and departments, our village councils, our tribal hohos, and countless people in the government and non-government set up as doing commendable work and are in the forefront of the battle. The world was not prepared. Nobody had anticipated this crisis. There were shortcomings and mistakes, but I can assure you without any hesitation that the efforts of the concerned agencies who battled against the oaths were not lacking in any manner. Nagas united as a people. Our opposition friends extended their hands of support. The civil societies rose to the occasion and every believers here and elsewhere joined the church in arming us with prayer support. The fight has been collective. Despite our shortfalls, we have shown the world that our strength of strong social bonds, our culture of collective oneness, and our nature of discipline and generosity are values and assets which help us 
through difficult times. Even as we learn from others, it is also a fact that our unique qualities have emerged as rainbows of hope. I want to specially thank the Honorable Prime Minister and the Government of India for the forthright and decisive leadership. India is today in a much better position than many other countries in the fight against pandemic. The battle is not over. There is a long way to go. Yet, we must continue to move ahead and march forward. We must join hands to rebuild our economy. Therefore, we have made a cautious exit plan from the lockdown and the various arms of government missionaries will begin to resume responsibilities and assignments. End of lockdown doesn't mean the virus is no more. It is one of the measure to slow the rate of infection. I appeal to all sections to continue to diligently follow the official advisories, maintain social distancing, and practice highest standard of hygiene. The government of India has extended the lockdown for another two weeks, after which we shall cautiously exit the lockdown. We will open up to a different and a changed world. Many aspects of our lives will never be the same again. The dynamics of the global village has altered. Accordingly, we need to acclimatize and move on. The quicker and more efficiently we do that, the more successful we will emerge as people. This is a crisis of multiple layers. It is a health crisis and an economic and educational crisis too. The state government will be undertaking various measures and implement strategies to address these issues. I'm sure you will continue to extend your fullest cooperation, support, and participation in our fight to overcome this crisis. In these difficult times, I have full trust and believe in the resilience of our people. My motivation comes from the strength and the energy drawn from each one of you. We are all members of the same team. Every citizen is a member of Team Nagaland. Let us all work as one. We will win this war together. Thank you. God bless. Cook Nellim. <laughs>